top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap mail. Yo guys, what's going on? Tim Purcell, welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make an animated uh, pixel art face cam uh, border. Uh, this is part two. Um, I did a part one video where I showed you guys how to do um, the actual border itself. So make sure you check this that video out. It's the one before this. Um, so yeah, this is part two, how to animate it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, hit the like button down below. Can we break 100 likes on this video? That would be amazing. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos and yeah let's get right into it right guys so we are here in photoshop so um this is actually um, an animated pixel art face cam border that i made for someone and i'll basically be showing you guys how to do it in today's video um, if i just press play you can see there's some sparkles um, if you just look closely there's a lot of sparkles going on it's, it just makes the uh, face cam um, a lot more unique a lot of people don't have animated face cam um, borders so adding this can just make your streams or YouTube videos just a lot look a lot better so yeah um, let's just get straight on into it so what you want to do is just open up your um, face cam overlay so I'll just do that right now go to file open and I'll just find one use this one right here um, so yeah I'm just going to delete all of the ones that I've already done. Delete all these. Okay, so what you want to do is, if you don't have this timeline at the bottom, go to Window, Timeline, and then you want to create a f um, frames. So there should be a button that says like create, um, create um, frames. Um, so yeah. And you also want to make sure that this is um, checked, create new layer for each new frame. So let's go up to the top. And so you've got the first frame done right here. And you want to make sure it's on 0.2 seconds and this is set to forever. So when you press play, it just carries on playing as a loop. Um, so yeah, first thing, what you want to do is on the first frame, add a new layer. One sec guys. Yeah, you want to make sure the image size is um, down to 192, point, uh, and 192 by 108 so you can actually do pixel work, not 1920 by 1080. And then once we've done, we will scale it back up. I know the text is blurred, but when you scale it back up, it will be back to normal. Um, so yeah, on the first frame, make sure you've got the pencil tool selected. And I'm going to use white for this. So yeah, on the first frame, we're just going to create one small little spot. So that's the starting point. That's how the um, little sparkle effects we're creating is going to start. So yeah, once you've done that, you want to add a new layer and it should create a second frame. And then you can add a little bit more. So I'm going to create like a little um, star type of thing. Well, not star, but you guys see, you can see what I'm creating. And I'm going to hide the, f the layer before it, which is the little dot that we made. Just fill it in. So now, if we go back to the first layer, it should go a little spot like that, and then the second one, just hide, uh, unhide it, should look like that. And then add a new layer, and then on the third one, I think it's, wait, on the third one, so it's right there, we'll just make that shape again. And we're just gonna extend it one more on each of the left and the right side. So it should look like that on the third one. So it's just a little bit bigger. And then add a new layer. And then we'd want to copy this shape. You can duplicate the actual layer. So I'm going to press Control J. Oops. Yeah, I want to duplicate this. So I'm just going to press Control J. So now we've got that. And I'm going to go to the eraser tool and just erase the extra bit bits. So now it's going to shrink back down again. So you want to add a new layer. Um, yeah, and then a new layer. It's now just going to be a little spot. Like so. So 
now if we go back to the beginning we just need to make sure the um the layers are in the correct order so we want it to start off like this and then the second one it should be a bit bigger the third one is that the fourth one is the, the that which is a little bit smaller and then the fifth one is the spot so now if we play it back it should look like that but obviously we, we want it to be a bit slower so we're going to add a new layer uh, and then you can just add a few more new layers so now it should play and then there should be a bit of a pause like so uh, and then you can do that in other places as well you can just repeat the exact same thing um, on another part of the overlay so I'm going to show you guys how to do that now so we've got that one down there um, and we want to add a new one so all you've got to do is just on that layer add a new layer on that frame add a new layer um, and now we can just start and add a new one so say if we want to go at the top here's our starting point and then just go into the next frame after that and add a new layer and create a little bit more on the layer after that duplicate it again make it a bit bigger on the one after that um, press E and we're just gonna erase that and then we want to add another layer duplicate it Add one more layer and then just hide the one before it and we should just finish off with a spot of that it's pretty complicated um, you need to just need to make sure that you are hiding the correct layers so we want it to start there so yeah guys basically all you need to know is each frame you need to add a, a, you basically add a bit more of the pixelated area so frame one that's what it'll look like frame two you do that and each one you need to add a new layer make sure you're not doing it on the same layer each time you need to add a new layer so it starts like that it's very simple and then we also did the same at the top um, if we just play it back it just alternates between the two and you can add more you can create it as long as you want um, and yeah that's pretty much it once you've done that guys you want to go to file export save for web and you need to save it as a gif so at the top right here instead of like png make sure it's set to gif and you can save it and then if you want to convert it to like an mp4 so you can use it on streams you just can you can just convert it online gift to mp4 something like that um, but yeah that's pretty much it guys make sure that um, you're doing it on 0.2 delay and it's set to forever so that it just can't continue uh, continuously it just loops so yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this video um, and yeah if you want to see more uh, tutorials like this on the channel be sure to let me know down below hit the like button as well guys can we break 100 likes subscribe if you're new turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope you're all having a sick day today and i'll see you in the next video